What's up, Video Fort Nation? I'm Magic Bard, and for today we're gonna get into a movie magic trick. But before we get started, I want to give a shout out to Zahir. If I messed that up, I'm totally sorry. Did not mean to do that. I love you, my man. Thanks and appreciate the love. But if you guys are new to Video Fort, hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell icon right next to it. That way, when we put out new video effects and tutorials every single week, you'll be the first to check them out. So that's enough for me. Let's jump into the tutorial. So I'm going to take our footage, drop it into a new composition, and find the um, in and out points that you want to use. So for me, it's about right here. I, as you can see, I did a bunch of takes. So I messed this one up, but I'm going to go right here and click that in point and right as I hit the mirror about there you see the camera shake that's where I'll do my out point alright cool so now we have our little coming into the mirror and all you have to really do is duplicate this all right, control D and move your layer over and what you're gonna do for your second layer okay is reverse the action so right click time and reverse layer okay so now we've got this sort of boomerang effect right but what we want is we want to go through the mirror so how we do that is we have to flip this area and in After Effects it's called flop I don't know why but okay so cool check it out now we're going through the mirror okay but we've got this little stutter action that's because as my arm gets close to the mirror I sort of tilt it a bit so what we're gonna have to do is uh, keyframe that rotation so let's zoom in here by pressing the plus sign on your keyboard and bring your top layer over just one frame and then turn the opacity down to about 50 percent so press T which will open up your opacity parameter and bring this down to about 50 okay and then bring the playhead over so it's on top of both and now what we want to do is match these two clips together so we're going to use the uh, rotation and position to set it in so your keyboard shortcuts are going to be W for rotation okay and then V to use the pointer and move the position okay so kind of get it on there until it's not fuzzy anymore and this is what you're really looking at not the outsides okay so once this seems about right you're gonna be good to go so so that looks good to me let's um, turn the opacity up back to 100 percent and see what we got here and bring make sure to bring the layer over back to where it was the the end point okay so it lines up we're looking good press the uh, subtract or minus button to zoom back out and what we've got here is going through the mirror cool all right now what you're gonna do is we need to place our footage back into the uh, area so there's no black spaces right so take this all the way at the beginning press press R for rotation keyframe that keyframe the position as well so press P keyframe that and then bring it over to probably make it one second long and let's bring the position to what is it 960 by 540 I believe and then go to your rotation R and put that back to zero and then what we're gonna get is cool that little motion back into frame alright guys so we're getting there next part is we want our face to be in the middle of the frame at all times okay so what we're gonna do here is go into layer new null object and we're gonna connect 
these two layers to the null. Okay, so just select them both, take your pick whip tool, parent it to the null and let go. Okay, and you'll see right here that it's connected to null 5, which is what we want. So now just click on the null, press the P for position, and now you can move the null object and both of these layers will move with it. Okay, so next part, let's add some rulers in there. So um, click over here to your title sh title safe and click on rulers so you can see them so they're visible and then drag one of these on the top down to the center which is right here where the null object is and then go over here on the left drag a ruler out here all you have to do is click hold and drag it out and um, so that's going to be our reference point for the center of the frame and now what we're going to do is keyframe the position of our null so click that and just bring it over so your face is in the center. So that looks about right to me. Go to the middle, okay, where we cut in between and we want the center of our heads to be in the center of our composition composition as well. So bring that one over. And then at the very end, you're going to do the same thing. Bring your face over to the center. Boom. So now, cool, we're, we're doing good, we're doing good folks. Okay, so this is exactly what we want. Press N to kind of N, uh, put the out point of our composition right here. And then we're gonna take our iPhone Mirror 5. Here, I'll make a new folder, call it uh, tutorial for YouTube and um, so take your composition that we just made right here and bring it into a new comp right here and that essentially just pre-composes our whole thing okay so now we've got our pre-composed comp right here looking good and I will just cut it down okay and now the next part we want to do is inside of this comp go to composition settings and make this a Instagram format so 1080 by 1080 because we're gonna post this on Instagram when we're done um, and it'll also cut out all that black we don't like so cool we, we're doing good we're doing good now we need to fix this part okay so go there go in the middle of that cut and you're gonna scale up to get rid of this unwanted video or no video so press s for scale and keyframe the scale at a hundred and bring it to about here and keyframe it again and we'll do the same thing here keyframe okay so you basically set uh three keyframes it's gonna scale up here and then scale back down to a hundred okay so let's just scale it up right to where it's gone and then what will happen is zoom in zoom out now you can either do that and let's just uh, RAM preview it see what it looks like um, so you can do that little zoom in zoom out thing that we just did right here or if you want just keep it instead of keyframing this whole thing just keep it at 120 um, percent the whole time it's all up to you in the style stylic stylistic choice you decide to end up doing all right okay and now what we're gonna do is time remap this so we can get rid of the um, this kind of slowness that's happening in between these keyframes over here so once again pre comp this by bringing your composition into a new comp and you know find where the end is kind of bring this over okay looking good there go right click time enable time remapping and set a keyframe at the very end you're gonna set a keyframe when it starts to slow down right about there and then at the beginning set another keyframe when it starts to slow down 
about there. And then just bring these two bad boys together. Okay. Trim this clip in to the keyframe. And uh, let's see what we got. Ram preview it. Okay, it's looking a little better. It's looking a little better. Um, actually, now that I'm looking at it, I don't like this uh, this little zoom in right here. So take these keyframes and delete them. These are our scales, okay? So we're just going to keep it at 120%, which looks fine to me, okay? And um, let's see what that looks like now. All right, good. The motion is smoother. You know, and you can really finesse these um, keyframes right here, getting it to this exact speed you want. I want to try and be a little faster on this one. So we got that. Now you've guessed it. The next part is duplicate it. Okay. So Apple D, Control D, or Command D if you're on a Mac, duplicate it, bring it over, and you're going to reverse this layer. And now what you've got is a boomerang going back. Now there's that little black spot because I forgot to, I didn't edit it out right there. And we'll do the same thing right here. Okay. Bring this in, RAM preview it, and let's see what we got. Now you're going through mirrors. All right, guys, that's the basic effect. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that mirror effect tutorial. If it helped you out at all, please hit the little like button and leave us a comment. Let us know what visual effects you guys would like to learn. If there's any tips or tricks on filmmaking you guys need to know something about, something in the movies you saw that you want to know more about that we can do in After Effects, I'll try to get those tutorials to you as soon as possible. With that being said, this is Video Fort. I'm Magic Bard, and I'll see you guys on the next one.